What up, ladies and gentlemen? Eric here with driverlineup.com. Boop. And you can see my shirt. My shirt is wet. Because uh, it is coming down hard. We are, uh, of course, I got the world's luckiest four wheeler there. We are um, posted up north of Nashville. <clears throat> If you're about to become a truck driver, thinking about coming to Prime, which is a great idea, by the way. Love, love, love Prime. If you're thinking about becoming a truck driver, there's one thing that you're gonna figure out real quick, and that's that when you're driving in severe thunderstorms with an empty trailer, shit can get really creepy really fast. <laughs> and that happened to me uh, at the uh, about two o'clock this morning. Man, I went through uh, Lexington <clears throat> and I knew there were gonna be thunderstorms, but it wasn't like, you know, bow echo, dare echo, not like tornado producing shit, right? So I was gonna try to get to Nashville or as close to Nashville as possible. We have all day to pick up this load. It can be picked up anytime between any time today, literally from 12.01 this morning to 11.59 tonight, or 23.59, however you want to look at it. But I wanted to get it early. Uh, but man, at 2 o'clock this morning, coming through Lexington, there were some thunderstorms coming over that the sky was just constantly lit. And I couldn't even figure out which direction the wind was coming from. It was like just driving through, you know, uh, I don't know, it was like twirly wind, you know? Truck going back and forth, I can see my trailer going back and forth. Very uncomfortable. Um, and I, there wasn't a lot of traffic out, so I'm just kinda out there on my own in the pitch black, other than when the lightning's happening. And just didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, you know, and a lot of people think that it's fine, you know what you're doing. YouTuber Crazy Bags, uh, who used to drive for Prime, he, I don't, I think it was in Illinois, uh, where he had a rollover with an empty trailer. He was at a truck stop and it looked like everything had cleared. I may be telling the story a little bit wrong, but, um, if from what I recall, everything looked clear, it looked like the wind had died down. And then when he got on the on-ramp, he was actually on the phone with another YouTuber, Chad Rich. When he got on the on-ramp in Illinois, a gust of wind just came along and over he went. He was literally on the phone with Chad Rich and he, he describes it like he's saying, oh, oh, I'm going over. And that was it, you know, so I don't mess with that stuff. I think a lot of drivers take more risk than I'm willing to take. Um, but when it comes to an empty trailer, you know, heavy with a load sitting low, I'll drive through some shit, you know, but empty trailer, I don't mess around with that, man. And it was freaky this morning. So pulled over and fortunately I was able to find a, a, a semi bonus spot uh, at a rest area and parked there for five or six hours and let most of that stuff pass. But now we're in the same situation. Nashville, let's just see, it's 1030 AM. Nashville's about to get bitch slapped with some very, very heavy thunderstorms. So, I just don't wanna drag an empty trailer through that, man. It's just, it's just not fun. <laughs> it's a little too sketchy and I don't have to, you know, I can, I can go get this load at 11 p.m. tonight. So if I don't have to, I'm not gonna. So, uh, so yeah, I just took a shower um, and then got another shower on the way out to the truck. Jenna is inside getting some lunch. Probably gonna have her drive us another 30 miles down the road. It's a really big rest area. I'll get fuel here. Um, and then we'll just post up there for a little while and let all that shit go through. It should be all cleared through, I think, by 3.30 or 4 this afternoon. Um, at least all the heavy, ugly stuff. So... Would I like to have gotten this load sooner? Yes, but also the two times that we've been to this shipper, 
when they have a window like this, the load's not ready early in the day. So it's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> if both times we've been there, the load is not ready until late in the evening, then there's not, and there's no truck stop near this place. So it's not really any point in trying to rush it and going through that severe weather. So my first piece of advice is never complicate things for yourself when you don't have to like in truck stops so I've been driving for three years I can back this truck between damn near anything you put two trucks two trailers and I can back I can back this shit into damn near anything um, now it's a different story if there's not two lines not two trucks <laughs> and it's in the middle of the night like that is my nemesis I'm trying to back into a dock with no lines, no trucks. Like, I, I prefer to back between two trucks than to back in an empty dock with no trucks anywhere, no trailers anywhere, and no lines in the middle of the night. But that's a different story. But I can back between damn near anything. But I will still, still take the easiest and safest spot available in a truck stop or at a rest area. If at a rest area, if I can be on the end where I don't have to try and go around a truck when I leave, if I can just go straight out, if I can be up against a curb so I don't have to worry about other trucks coming in next to me, I'm gonna take that spot. If I can be in a corner in a truck stop, I'm gonna take that spot. If there's easy pull-throughs where I'm not, you know, at threat of from some other truck, I'm gonna take that spot. You don't need to complicate things for yourself. I see truck drivers like blindsiding into spots when there's like 50 other spots. Like, what the hell are you doing? Just because you want to be closer to the truck stop or something? Like that's like blindsiding in between two trucks when you got 50 spots, half of which are pulled through. It's unnecessary. And usually those trucks have like bent fins on the back of their cabs and shit. <laughs> you don't need to complicate things for yourself. And uh when you've got severe weather, um, if you don't need to power through it, don't power through it. Like, don't take the risk. That's the first thing. The second thing is, even if you need to, you would better make sure you know the conditions are going to be such that you'll be safe. And I'm talking about using apps like Wendy. Wind, Windy is a great app. It, it'll show you the forecast throughout the day nationally of what the wind speeds are going to be, which direction they're going to come from, uh, and it's got radar overlays, and it, it'll tell you can even select wind gust so you can see what the gust will be. So if you have to, like if we had to be at this 01, say in three hours, which we're 160 miles away, I'd be doing a lot more research into what, how extreme these conditions could be in Nash, going through Nashville this afternoon. But I don't have to, so I'm not gonna. So if you have to, don't just think to yourself, okay, well, I got an empty trailer, but it looks like it's just looks like it's just gonna be a couple, you know, thunderstorms. I mean, like really do your research. Um, and if it looks like it's not safe for you to do so, and I can't speak for other companies, but with Prime there's not ever going to be any question if you say i have an empty trailer and they're showing wind gust of 60 miles an hour sustained at 40 they are not gonna like there's not going to be any questions asked so you know don't let freight and rates make you make stupid decisions um <clears throat> so you know that's you're coming into this industry and you're coming to prime that's one of the many reasons that it's that prime's a great company to drive for because we've had to shut down i'd say probably seven or eight times over the course of these almost three years um due to weather due to inclement weather extreme weather and not once has it ever been questioned not once has someone said well you know we're not really seeing what you're seeing never it has never been questioned it's always immediately like 10-4 i'll let the customer know 10-4 let me know when you're rolling again let me know your new eta never questioned 
And I love that about Prime. Is that, like when they say safety is a priority, they mean it. it. You are the captain of your ship at Prime, and if and if for any reason you feel it's unsafe for you to continue on, there's going to be support behind that. <clears throat> so anyway, I kind of rambled on. My point is, we ain't going to drive through this shit. We're going to let it pass because again, we have until midnight. It's 10:30 right now. And we're still gonna have this load in probably a day and a half early to drop and hook up in PA. So, you know, pick it up this later this evening and I'll run most of it overnight and then general finish it off tomorrow morning and, and we'll be on a new load. So it's just not necessary to have to go through, you know, 120 miles of severe thunderstorms um, with an empty trailer. I just I know people that are that do it and I don't I don't understand it you know a bad situation doesn't happen to you until it does so you need to do everything you possibly can to prevent that from happening um, so yeah anyway I just showered at a pilot that actually had a nice clean shower it was very hot big towels I was really, I almost got confused. I almost thought I was at some other truck stop. It was, you ever know, like I just showered two days ago. Well, you guys saw that video with that, uh, that shitty pilot. You ever get a shower that's just got the right pressure and the right temperature and you just don't want to get out of it. Like I'm literally just standing there, not thinking about anything not doing anything, just standing there in this perfectly hot water, <laughs> dreading getting out of it. That was so amazing. Some showers out here, the things you take for granted, man, when you're not a truck driver, you can just go take an amazing shower three times a day. Out here, when we find a good one, it's like treating yourself to a $75 steak, you know? It, it <laughs> That's what I just went through. Anyway, guys, uh, we will, we cannot wait to be home. We'll be there soon. More updates coming. Be safe. Make good decisions. And as always, drive, thrive. Talk to you soon.